Yesterday I worshipped at a church where a friend of mine is the pastor. Um, and this is a mostly Caribbean church, so most of the people there are, are from the Caribbean uh, in one way or another. And he prayed for our country and he prayed about the division that we're all experiencing. He prayed for um, the violence and he prayed for peace. And as he prayed for peace, it was all about, about um, you know, peace, harmony, getting along, uh, <clears throat> valuing other people. And, and, and during the whole thing, I was just like, oh, man, you know, I love this guy like crazy. Don't get me wrong. And I, I'm not, I'm not criticizing him, but man, I was disappointed because I was like, ah, where is the call? to action where is the call to stand against evil and if this man can't do it if this man can't tell his congregation folks we need to we need to to draw a line and say no more we can't do this anymore you know we don't have to get violent but we do have to stand it's important for us to stand and he wasn't saying that and then i thought about it I looked around at his congregation, you know, like all congregations, all of our mainline Christian congregations are, are aging. Now, his was actually doing a lot better than some that I've, I've seen. There were, there were younger people there, uh, and there were even some children there, and I, I, that was all fantastic. But there were a lot of older people there, and I started thinking about you know, if, if I were the if I were the pastor of a, of a mostly black church in New York City, would it really be responsible for me to urge them out into the streets to protest? You know, in a city that has a low hate relationship with the police, would I be sending them out into harm? probably would be and then I thought about it I thought you know where is the voice of the prophet in our world and in our church who is supposed to be doing this and it, it really occurred to me in this world of ours it's the people of privilege that have to do that they, we whatever privilege we've got we have to use that and be the voice to stand against evil. We have to, you know, and, and, and I, I say that, you know, I got, I got privilege leaking out my ears, you know, it's, it's crazy. I got white privilege, I got male privilege, I got a certain amount of affluence and education privilege, I got clergy privilege for God's sake, you know, and, and I think any of us who have privilege, we have to take that stand, we have to. It doesn't matter if you've got pretty privilege, you know, if you've got money privilege. We have to be the ones to stand up. We have to. Because it's not fair to send the people uh, who are being victimized by the evil, to send them out and to say, you're the ones who have to stand. We're the ones who have to stand.